Hello everyone, I'm Sophie. And I am Pablo. And, and welcome, welcome to Artistically, artistically Learning Art. Art. Today we are going to talk about one of Kandinsky's paintings, first abstract watercolor. But before that, let's talk about the painter himself. Vasilis Kandinsky was a Russian painter that before actually becoming an artist at 30 years old, he was a low teacher. Artists such as Monet and music composers were his main inspirations, and at first he painted landscapes influenced by impressionist artists. But then he started thinking that shapes and colors alone could be art, and so he started painting abstract art until he died in Paris. But now that's out of the way, let's move on with today's painting. Yes, let's go! This is Kandinsky's first abstract watercolour, but the work is actually untitled, and it's our painter's first abstract painting. Does it look familiar? I'm not surprised. It does look like a kid just decided to draw on the canvas. This painting is literally nothing more than scrolls and patches of colour with apparently no sense whatsoever. And that is kind of the point. This is a purely abstract painting. No subject, no object, no people, no landscape, just simple raw emotions. And that is why it looks like something you kids would do. He just took a brush, a pencil, some ink, some watercolours and canvas and started painting. Of course, since this is first abstract artwork, it is experimental and quite different from his later and somewhat more geometric paintings. Nonetheless, this attempt was enough to lay the foundation of abstract art. Well, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed today's explanation. Next time we're going to see the icon of Cubism himself. Pablo, Pablo Picasso. Picasso. See, see you then. then. Bye. Bye.